Well, it's a glorious day out on Exmoor Tomp, depending on how you look at things. Well, it's pretty atmospheric. <laughs> Very much so. Why have we come out here on this freezing day? What are we up to? A couple of years ago, it became apparent that the gay meat industry might be facing some supply and demand issues. Yeah. And this led to the establishment of the British Game Alliance, who set out a code of good shooting practice and good game meat handling practice. And we've come to one of the most forward-thinking shoots in the country. So we're going to see how it's done properly. Exactly that. When it comes to the shoot day, we promote traditional sporting atmosphere centred on enjoyment amongst our guests and ultimately respect for the quarry. Principles are simple. Give the growing birds what they need in the very best environment possible. It's so important to have a decent picking up team, isn't it? It is, it's very true. We've got 10 to 12 pickers up today, each with two to four dogs of various sizes. And it's not just the ones you see behind the gun line, it's the ones right at the top that are probably more important than anything else we do. And the dogs just love it, don't they? Well, they and do. They're so you know, excited. Seen, they, they are, they're really energetic and they love what they do, yeah. almost as much as, the, as their owners. <laughs> At the end of every drive, all the shot birds graded and hung on the game rack in the field. We have a chip to chiller traceability program, which is why the simple tagging system is so vital. The British Game Alliance, the Countryside Alliance, doing a fantastic work to promote the correct handling of game to ensure there is a firm future on our plate. <laughs>